are the following. Number of bullets, 303. It means that the majority, absolute majority, was obtained with 152. The first uh, candidate, Mrs. Canote, obtained 59 votes. The second one, Ms. Ara, obtained 61 votes. The fourth candidate, Ms. Agi, obtained 11 votes. The third candidate, Mrs. Tully Axton, obtained 172 votes. So, in the middle while, I ask, <laughs> thank you, dear colleagues. I am asking, now, I need to declare elected Mrs. Tully Axon as president of IPU. And I invite the new president, please, to come and to address the members of the governing council. And again, thank you to all the four candidates. It was very important to have more than one candidate. It was very important to have four women running for the presidency here in Africa. Thank you to all of them for the mission you did it also to the IPU and to the women in power in politics. And so I will give the floor and please, uh, after it, if you wish to congratulate Mrs. Uh, Tulsa, Tulia, do it uh, out of the room because you need to go ahead. Allow me to give the floor to Mrs. Tulia, first of all.
you, dear colleagues, please. You need to create conditions, especially the supporters of Mrs. Tulia, to, uh, to, have the, to give the opportunity to the new president address the governing council. Please create the conditions. It's a very important moment to the IPU. I believe to the, to the speaker Tulia as well. And so we need to give her all the conditions to do the statement she wishes to, to present us. Please, Madam President, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you. I am very humbled. Thank you so much. Honorable Duarte Pacheco. Uh, well, he's still president until he handles over president of the IPU and Martin Chigong, Secretary General, dear colleagues and friends, I am overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed with gratitude. Thank you for the confidence you have bestowed on me by electing me the IPU president. I accept, I accept this position with all humility while recognizing all the responsibilities that come with it. I congratulate the outgoing president, Mr. Duarte Pacheco, and the IPU secretariat for organizing a well-organized and coordinated 147th IPU assembly in Luanda, Angola. I also thank Right Honorable Carolina Siquera, Speaker of the National Assembly of, Lua of Angola, for being a great host, and in particular, the choice of the venue of our meetings have been excellent. I am indebted to the unwavering support from my president, Honorable Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, and the government of the United Republic of Tanzania, with which is represented here today by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and East African Cooperation, Honorable January Makamba. Thank you so much for coming to represent Her Excellency. I dedicate special thanks to my campaign team, led by Right Honorable Speakers, members of Parliament, and comrades from many countries worldwide. My fellow members of Parliament from Tanzania and the Secretariat of the National Assembly of Tanzania. I also acknowledge and congratulate my fellow contestants for a dignified campaign that we have all run. And before I conclude my speech, if you allow me, Mr. President, to request that the, rest, uh, the other candidates come forward as I conclude my speech. Thank you, Madam, very well. Before I, thank you. Can, can the candidates please come forward so that we I thank you for, the, uh, for what you have put into all this that has made me president today. Before I conclude, I reaffirm my commitment to work hand in hand with you all to make the IPU the most effective, accountable, and transparent organization. Now, the first uh, candidate who is just uh, coming up here is Malawi. Please come. Is, is right, Honorable, right Honorable Catherine Gotan Hara, Speaker of the National Assembly of Malawi. She has put a good fight, and it is her good fight that has made all of us here feel proud to be represented by me as your president. So, Right Honorable Catherine, thank you for the good fight that you have put, because it is that fight that makes all of us as IPU family to feel proud of our institution and to always feel like we can work together. So we will work together, I am sure, 
You had good ideas of how the IPU should, fo should move forward. I will need those ideas so that we propel the IPU to greater heights. Thank you so much for putting up a good fight. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't know if Senegal is already here. It's coming. Oh, she's coming. Okay. Is Somalia already here? Okay, Senegal is coming. Uh, as she's coming, because I don't want to waste much of your time, Mr. President. Let me also talk about her. She has also put in a good fight, which has brought us all here. We have had a chance to know most of you delegates. It's because of the fight that has been put forward by these very able women. If this fight wasn't there, we wouldn't probably have reached out to all of you the way we have done. So this is an opportunity as the IPU family to move forward together having done this. Yeah. So, Madam Kanute, thank you so much for putting up a good fight. I really appreciate it. I am sure you had a very good idea of how you can move the IPU. Now, we will be working together to make sure the IPU that you wished would me, as your sister, will make sure your ideas work Absolutely. as well. Thank Absolutely. you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Somalia is almost here. Thank you so much for putting up a good fight as well. And I believe the IPU family have had a chance to know these very able four women from the African continent. But since a chance was only for one, I have been elected to represent all of you. I am sure I'm going to make all of you proud, Somalia inclusive. Please come up here and thank you for the good fight that you had put in. Thank you so much. You kept saying you have good ideas how to move the IPU further. We will be consulting you so that we, we work together to make sure our IPU is a better place but also, it's a voice for everyone yeah. in the world. Thank you. I'm so happy that this Africa needs. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. President, thank you so much for the opportunity and I'll finish by and the rest of the presidents also who have been there. So I need your ideas to make sure IPU moves forward. Thank you so much for your service and thank you so much for overseeing this election that has elected me as president of IPU. Thank you so much, Mr. Pacheco. Thank you so much, Mr. Duarte, my friend. Thank you. Now to you delegates, I started by saying I am humbled and overwhelmed by your support. Let me pledge to you, whatever it is that I said I will do for the IPU, I will do just that. Trust me. Now, without wasting much of your time, I would like to say thank you so much for bestowing upon me this honor. I take it with all humility, I will do justice to IPU. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Obrigado. Gracias. Shukran lak. Asante sana. Thank you, Madam President. I wish you all the luck. We know your capacity of work and your competence, it, will, uh, it is not easy never to be president of IPU, but I will wish, I will wish you all the luck and uh, IPU as a great president, a woman from Africa. Congratulations, madam. And now we need to come back to our agenda. Uh, I, I knew that uh, it is a very important moment. And so this way, I will ask, uh, Madam President, if you can receive the congratulations in the corridor, because we need to go to the next uh, report. I was calling on that moment when we received the information that uh, is possible to announce. Uh, I received uh, the information that is possible to present the report of the Forum of Women Parliamentarians. And so, 
I will give the floor to Mrs. Malakias from Angola to present the report. Again, I will ask the favor to our president, elected president, <laughs> okay. thank you, Martin, to our elected president, if it is possible, and I ask the escort if they can help Madam President to be outside of the room to receive the comp compliments from the uh, different delegations, because I wish to give the floor to Mrs. Malakias. I was in the bureau. No, no, it's not you. Ah, it's not me. Okay. Okay. Ah, because someone tell me and I was running. I understood that uh, Mrs. Malakias is not on, uh, on the room. I will ask his, uh, Mr. Laferriere, Chair of the Committee of Middle East, it's present in the room. Uh, I think there are two people, present, two people presenting the Royal Karim and uh, Netherlands. Neither is not present. Mokta. Otherwise, we, it's better to interrupt. It's 15, 15 minutes. Okay, uh, I understood. Uh, sometimes we need to be practical. I think we don't have conditions to go ahead in this moment with the interventions of our colleagues. Because it's a very important moment. We need to understand that. Everyone wishes to congratulate the, the elect president. Sharp, please. Otherwise, we will be here for a long time. Two thirds. And we have a break for lunch, and you, this way you have the opportunity also. Recording stopped.